Welcome to Canada Sings. Tonight, members of two workplace glee clubs will move from the boardroom to your living room as they sing and dance for a chance to win $25,000 for their charity. Calling the shots tonight, like always, it's our celebrity judges. He's a rapper, producer, reality star, and now contractor, my man, Vanilla Ice. And she is a Toronto-born star who has guided the careers of huge names like Lady Gaga and Mary J. Blige. Let's hear it for Lorianne Gibson. Take me back to when you guys first started out, you know, and you each remember that anxiety on stage. How did you individually turn that fear into excitement, into, into confidence? Well, me, I, I used, when I was 14, I started off breakdancing, so I was at the mall getting 40 bucks a day, spinning on my head, chasing the girls around, eating pizza, and having change left over. Um, that was what it was all about for me, so I, uh, I never really got those nerves, and then I was the opening act for the opening act for the opening act, and then the opener for that act. Yes! And I loved it. I didn't care. I was in the 10th grade. I did Ice Ice Baby when I was 16 years old. And, you know, just, I, I had an attitude where I'm going to get in where I fit in. And I didn't care if they had the lights still on and they right. were taking the chairs out. I was doing my thing. I told everybody I was in the 10th grade. I said, I'm going to be on that show tonight with Ice-T, Stetsasonic, EPMD, uh, Sir Mix-a-Lot. I was on the Stop the Violence tour. No, you're not. I said, get there early. You'll see. <laughs> so for me, that was my whole deal is that I was just always trying to, you know, make it happen in front of anywhere and anytime and seize any opportunity that I could. But um, these people were never, you know, they never marinated like that. They, they had to actually step right out and go, what? Five days to put a show together? How are we gonna do that? That's impossible. I'm not gonna embarrass myself. And, and some of the things that like people really had, you know, problems getting over, like issues, like one lady didn't wanna show her knees. She couldn't smile. She says her gums, she didn't like her gums. She had knee problems. She didn't wanna show her legs. And then they get up there, they show their legs, and you see them overcome those obstacles and hurdles. And it's nice to feel that with them. So, you know, it's a great show. I think everybody's gonna be thoroughly entertained. And like I said, it's evolved from last year. and. And I'm super proud to be back on it. And uh, we got a new addition here, which adds a really cool chemistry. So, um, you know, it's great. It's for a great cause. So. Um, I think, like Rob, stage fright isn't something that um, was part of my struggle. I think for some of us, unlike these people, we were born to do this um, and born to face other adversities. Uh, but, um, I mean, Growing up in Canada, getting such great training, and I think my first job dancing at Canterbury Theatre in Canada's Wonderland, stage never frightened me, ever. Yes, that's why I'm the best. <laughs> you have to be confident.